something in the air, a weird smell in Molala. And many people in town are blaming a hemp processing facility. Tonight, there was a hearing to consider if that facility is at fault. Jacqueline Abad live on the scene tonight. How's the smell test out there, Jacqueline? Did you put your <laughs> nose to the test? Yeah, Jeff, I'm putting my nose to the test. We've been out here for a couple of hours now, and since we've been out here, I haven't smelled anything out of the ordinary, but some Malala residents say it comes in waves and it really depends on the wind. Now, everyone that I spoke to, I asked them, what does it smell like? And everyone said something a little bit different from yeast to rotten meat. This is the Columbia Hemp Trading Company processing facility. It opened last August. Hemp is a natural crop grown for its fibers and it does not contain the psychoactive properties of cannabis. Hemp is a big cash crop, but uh, you cannot destroy a community like this. Residents say it's the smell that's getting to them. It smells like chemical garbage burning. The best way I can describe it is like putrid sour sauerkraut and it's got a metallic aftertaste, so it lives in the back of your throat. The city of Malala got numerous complaints about the odor. And so the city had sought voluntary compliance um, from the company. Ultimately, we had to issue them a nuisance abatement no notice. They then protested that notice, and the hearing tonight was for the judge to decide. More than 50 people from the community packed the municipal court and conference room. The company's attorney was there, as well as the owner and the person who runs the facility. But there were some concerns. A CHTC is represented by a firm, Schwabe, Williamson & Wyatt. They hadn't considered, apparently, the ethical issues um, that can come up with um, representing three parties. And the judge pushed back the hearing, and dozens of people had to go home soon after it started. So I'm really disappointed. I'm very frustrated. Columbia Hemp Trading Company's owner released this statement, stating in part, as members of a rapidly evolving industry which is creating new jobs and opportunities for our state, we are grateful to be a part of the Malala community and are making further investments in our facility to increase efficiency and reduce odors. Also in that statement, the company says that the odors from the hemp processing do not pose any threat to the public, but residents say that they're hoping that the facility is shut down until they find a long-term solution. Now, the hearing was pushed back until March 17th at 6 o'clock. The community is encouraged to come. Reporting live in Malala, Jacqueline Abad, Coin 6 News. Certainly a story we'll continue to follow. Thanks, Jacqueline.